You know, I began a business in 1979 with my brother in the construction industry, and it was a it was a hands-on uh, company. Just my brother and I beginning uh, very modestly, and we built it into a nice-sized company, employed about 20 people over a course of about 24 years. What we've tried to do in Ottawa is create the conditions for companies to succeed. And what are the conditions? Lower tax environment. Getting out of the way of entrepreneurs is a big thing. And that's what we've been striving to do, is create those conditions and also showcase to the world that Canadians produce some of the best, most high quality goods and, and provide services that, are, that we can compete anywhere globally. Well, what Green Mantra is, is we're a green chemistry company. So we have this innovative process. We're the only ones in the world that can do it, is we actually use recycled plastic as our input to create wax. But one of the, one of the factors that startup companies have is, is what's called capitalization, which is having enough money to achieve the end result that they want to achieve. In November, we closed a $17 million financing that included equity, debt, and support from the federal and provincial governments to allow us to expand our, our production significantly. What it, what it meant is the difference between succeeding or folding. Uh, we needed the support. Uh, the company was in a situation where it needed more cash, and the markets were difficult in 2011. It was the federal government support that came to our hand to help us and believed in us and believed that we had a technology here that really had a chance of succeeding. And so what's happening here is, is at Green Mantra is a partnership really with what is best, which is the government supporting a company that, that has goals to achieve higher levels of employment, uh, to grow their company, to increase our economy here locally. He's been such a strong supporter. Him and his team have been so good to us in terms of helping us through the process, keeping our eyes open, feeling about opportunities to work with the government. We're almost coming up tenfold in size from where we are today. But companies like these and ones we're seeing in this community that are building small, medium and eventually large scale operations all have a huge public outreach in the sense that they're bringing in here long lasting, good paying jobs. We absolutely will be and we are hiring. Uh, we, were, we even had a sign outside of our lot that we are hiring just because there's so much locally available talent. This company started three years ago. There's three people working part time. We're now approaching 40 people in staff. We'll continue to grow here in Brantford. This is a, a hugely exciting company. The prospects for the future of this company in our community are, lar are large. And, and they're just one example. I can take you to four or five other places that we've been involved in. I have since being the federal member of parliament where FedDev has come in and injected money by way of loans that are repayable back to the government and they're booming. They're booming. They've got hiring signs outside on the front lawns. We're hiring. And that's exciting for our community.